Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Goody. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery, and assisted conception at the Homerton Fertility Center. And today I'm going to talk to you about a crucial subject. And it's a very interesting subject. It, it talks about the timing of IUI. And why is it important? It's important because for almost 15 to 20 years, we have debated on what is the best time to do IUI. And it has varied from the day of trigger to 12 hours after trigger to 24 hours after trigger after 36 hours after trigger and then 48 hours after trigger. So there's a wide range that tends to occur in these cases. So what was the study? And this is quite a unique study published very recently, in fact, last month, which said, what is the difference is between IUI done on the day of HCG trigger and 36 hours late, later, a randomized controlled trial. And, and in fact, you'd say, why would anyone do an IUI on the day of HCG trigger? And I'll tell you the reasons. So one is what you understand that there's been, there's been a debate of when to do IUI. And we generally agree that between 16 and 18 millimeter, you trigger and do IUI 32 to 36 hours later. In fact, they looked at 24 to 34 hours as well as from 36 to 48 hours. And there hasn't been much statistical difference in IUI success rates. So now let's go to nature. And that's where this idea comes from. So in nature, what happens? In nature, we know that if sexual intercourse happens before ovulation, pregnancy rates are the best. And once ovulation happens and the pregnancy rates start going down and in fact steadily goes down to zero, and probably we believe that sperm has to be present around the time of ovulation, which means sexual intercourse should be ideally done before the time of ovulation. So this was a hypothesis. So let's replicate it in an IUI model. So doing IUI on a day of HCG trigger was effectively saying that we are replicating what happens in nature and then comparing it to IUI done 32 or 34 to 36 hours later. So they had two groups and the first group was a simultaneous IUI which is done on the day of HCG trigger and that was 166 cases. A regular IUI which was done 32 to 36 hours after HCG trigger and this was in about 208 cases. So if you have a look at the uh, results and the results were quite inter interesting. So maximum they wanted three follicles. IUI was, was done either on the day of HCG trigger or 5,000 of pregnant or over trial 250 microgram which is 6,500 of HCG. Follicle of 16 to 18 millimeter and IUI done at the same on the same day or IUI was done to 32 to 36 hours later. So if you look at the results, in the first cycle, there was a slight difference. So in the first, second, third, and fourth cycle, you see a general, very mi minor increase in the regular IUI, which is between 32 and 36 hours, compared to the, the IUI done at, uh, at the time of HCG. So you're seeing that simultaneous IUI does not really match up uh, or in significantly increase its rates uh, compared to the normal IUI. In fact, when you look at in this group, when you looked at male factor infertility, in fact, it was statistically and decreased in the case of simultaneous IUI. And in the regular IUI, success rates were better. So if you can have a look at it, what happens in nature? In nature, a sperm goes into the cervical Crips and then hangs on for a longer time after sexual intercourse and then the second wave of, of, of attack tends to take place. In IUI, you completely bypass the cervix so there's no holding of sperm in the cervical crypts and the sperm sometimes may not survive till ovulation. And that is the difference. So in nature, probably we, we probably think that the the second lot of sperm that goes from cervical tubes may, may help in a successful uh, conception. 
In mild main factor, we think if you put it after ovulation, it survives in its its presence in the uterine cavity is much shorter. So around the time of ovulation, in fact, it works out much better for these cases. While if you give, put it earlier, in fact, poor quality of sperm does not survive. So again, what does that this paper tell you? It tells you that, again, doing the IUR between 32 and 36 hours is, is very reasonable. And in fact, it is comparable to 24 hours. But trying to do it on the day of HCG and trying to mimic what happens in nature probably does not work. So th that's the second talk topic of the week. And it's quite an interesting topic because it, it looks at the timing of IUI. And, and I think as IUI probably is making a comeback, and I think it should make a comeback in certain cases, uh, for it does give reasonably good results if, if planned properly. And every possible treatment cannot be IVF. And I hope you have uh, enjoyed the talk. And if you do, do like this page and uh, subscribe to YouTube channel, you'll find it much easier to download any videos from that place. And there are more than 400 videos almost covering every subject. Uh, and looking at paper reviews, and which has been going on for almost two years. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.